Never. Physical disabilities kept a West Sacramento woman from getting her own mail. She couldn't safely get to the mailbox after the edge, edge, which was right at the edge, I should say, of her property. Well, when the postmaster didn't seem willing to help, it was time to call Curtis. Yeah, we got a little bit of an update here. We first met Rose Webb in November. Her request, a simple one, to move her mailbox from her front fence to her porch. So what happened after we got involved? So it's really nice to be able to step outside and get the mail. Now having her mail just outside her front door is a small luxury that makes a big difference for Rose Webb. I have to use the walker and uh, not getting around too good. When we first met her last year, she told us getting the mail was treacherous, even dangerous. She once fell on her way to the mailbox, which was down a series of concrete steps and attached to her fence. I couldn't get up. I tried to pull myself up by the fence, only I uh, broke these two fingers. The post office made Rose move the box from her house to her front fence in 2006 after her dog Samson bit the mailman. Samson's been dead for a few years and with Rose suffering from back, hip and ankle issues, she asked to move her mailbox back. That's all I want is just to have my mail brought up like most all the other houses do. But she says the post office said no. Then we contacted the USPS. Within days, we were told all Rose had to do was get a note from her doctor proving her disabilities, and she was free to move her mailbox back. My grandson moved the mailbox, and I believe the next day they were delivering the mail up to the mailbox. I really appreciate having the mailbox back up here. And sometimes the little things. We never heard why Rose was denied the first time she asked to move her mailbox back to her house. Other people who have a hard time getting to their mailbox can send a letter to their postmaster along with a statement from their doctor stating the hardship, and the USPS will determine whether they can move the mailbox. I'm guessing the post office is not crazy about people who just want to randomly go ahead and move their no, mailbox. You, you shouldn't all. move it on your own. Ultimately, it's up to the postmaster, so you got to go through the proper channels, and maybe they'll grant it. Well, that's you. understandable. Yeah. Yep. All right, if you have a consumer problem you can't resolve, maybe we can. You can call our hotline Monday through Friday, 916-374-1343, or you could always go to our website, cbssacramento.com, click on Contact Curtis, and fill out our form.